through agriculture effectively we've established a first world country on the edge of the world. So, you know, the fact that we've done that is like pretty significant. We want to create this brand. We do have this very proud brand. What I see is so exciting, and some of it is coming from the farming community itself, is the opportunities to fix the negative side of you know, the environmental effect of farming and actually turn into a huge positive. Plant-based eating has revolutionized our whole yeah. household, our whole view of ourselves. It, it was the first thing that actually gave me hope about rescuing the biosphere and preventing runaway greenhouse warming. We have an open government. The government is certainly supportive of innovation and it's really one of their, their major outcomes or um, that they hope to hope to achieve. Its diverse ecosystem and microclimates allow us to do a lot of R&D like in our own backyard. What I can see happening here in New Zealand is that you could become kind of a leading edge model by adopting some of the most far-seeing and progressive policies and actually putting those into motion as models. I think there's a chance for New Zealand to have thought leadership in that and then turn that expertise into products also. Through great products you can spread that sort of thinking and that experience in how to do those things and make agriculture more sustainable, more productive, um, and, and help transfer that knowledge to other places. And the really cool thing is actually if you put all of New Zealand's produce together we can feed somewhere between 30 and 40 million people. Well, the real challenge for us is what is the shape of the future going to be? Are we producing the right products? So we're looking at, well, what, are we going, what do we need to produce in, in 20, 30 years' time? I think what's lacking are the training programs and the mentorship programs and then building these more localized economies. Well, I think we have to make it sexy to farm, for one thing. I think, in a sense, the biggest challenge is connecting those young people with land that they can farm and that they can feel a stake in. And there's a critical mass that's being reached now, particularly in agriculture. We really do largely know what to do you know, or certainly what directions to head in. So I think um, that that tipping point is within sight. We've gone from urgency to emergency. We're going from climate disruption to climate panic. We can't just ignore that 14.5% of all greenhouse gases are produced by animal agriculture. Not all agriculture, just animal agriculture. But we're not lacking more enterprise and more ability to lift ourselves to take us to the next um, step. One of the things I'm, I've been I'm intrigued by is the biochar movement. I've noticed that there are several uh, biochar efforts that might they're looking at sort of grand scale um, reconversion of crops. The idea of bringing nature together with technology is just a no-brainer because it might be somewhere in this event might be the gem of an idea it is going to be the big breakthrough that we need to start stop using toxins, to stop using poisons and think of another way of approaching these pests that are doing so much damage to New Zealand's nature. So the opportunity here is huge because in fact, and what Bioneers has been demonstrating for 25 years, is that there are major practices of alternative agriculture that work very well, that are non-toxic, that actually regenerate soil, sequester carbon, um, can produce yields equal to or in many cases much greater than um, industrial agriculture and it's also one of the biggest um, job creators. But I think New Zealand has some responsibility uh, of a country that's really proud and long history of agriculture and really at the, at the leading edge of producing um, food products. But I think we want to ensure that there are healthy food products. It's really important to get kids farming in schools. Um, the kids having a chance to have their fingers in the soil and to learn where their food comes from and to actually experience growing food and then preparing it is kind of essential to growing healthy human beings. The work is, I think, getting people to the table. We have to, we have to c collaborate. We're at a stage where advancing exponential technology is allowing people to self-organize, self-educate. As we're at a time in the world when so many people are living in cities, I think urban agriculture is really a key part of the solution as well. I was recently in Xiamen, um, they're one of our sister cities in China, and a local supermarket group um, wants to have a corner of all of their stores that's got the New Zealand corner. They want to do that because there's this huge reputation for quality and safety of food coming out of New Zealand. So I think that there's tremendous opportunity here actually to help lead the world as a model, as an incubator.